What is meant with off-page optimization of your website? Off-page means you do not work on your website itself, but on the relation other websites have with your site. Let's assume this icon in the center is your website. And these are other sites in the World Wide Web which refer to your site by establishing a link. These links are called backlinks, from point of view of your site. The number of backlinks is a measurement for how well known your site is in the Internet. In many articles, backlinks are just referred to as links. The diagram showing the relationship between websites linked to each other is called link graph. Now let's assume site C has got further backlinks from other sites. Then this site is more prominent than for example A and B. A prominent website has influence on the prominence of the website it links to. Therefore, your page will benefit from a prominent backlink. Or in other words, the back of your site gets strengthened by another strong site. So which are the metrics for the strength of a backlink? One of the first metrics was published by Larry Page, one of the founders of Google in 1997. It is called PageRank and was one of the first core elements of the Google search engine. It is a value between 0 and 10, where 10 is the highest ranking. A website can achieve a high page rank if it is linked by many other sites with a high page rank. The original formula of the page rank has been modified quite a few times since its first publication and with the development of the web more and more factors have been added. Today further metrics like Power and MozRank have been developed by other companies which basically follow the same idea. All of them have a scale between 0 and 10. A high value is an important factor of being listed in a high position of a search result of Google or Bing. Now let's assume that your site is linked by a green colored website with a high rank and some other red sites with a low rank. These red colored sites might have a bad influence and decrease the rank of your site. Red colored sites could be spam sites. Let me give you one example. In order to increase the ranking in search engines, some people came up with the idea to set up several sites, add some poor quality content, and then link these sites one with each other. And finally link them with a target site. This scenario is called a link farm. It's a method which worked well in the years between 2000 and 2010 and pushed websites to top rankings in search results. However, the search engines developed and implemented updates. One of the most famous is Google's Panda update in 2011, which punished link farms and pushed back sites in their ranking or even delisted them. Link farms are an example for spam SEO, or so-called blackhead search engine optimization. My advice, do not invest into the blackhead side. Search engines have become too intelligent nowadays. Stay on the side of the whiteheads. What we have learned so far is that there's a metric called power or page rank which measures the strength of a site's backbone. Now there's a second important metric which is related to the trust or reputation of a website. In order to distinguish these two metrics, we might say that power or rank is related to the quantity of backlinks and trust to the quality. Since it has been introduced, the importance of trust has been increasing steadily. A measurement of trust could be if the author of a text is a person with high reputation or if you would enter your credit card data into a form on the website. There are sites on the web which are regarded as trustable as there are sites of major university, governments or newspapers. They can be regarded as authorities of reliable, well-researched information. Now let's have a look at your website. If a trusted site links to your website, or in other words, your site receives a backlink from a trusted site, then your website will inherit a portion of trust regarding the trust metric. Now let's consider a different scenario. On the right you see the trusted site. It will inherit its reliability to the linked site. Let's assume the latter links to your site then you will inherit some trust but to a lower extent, so to say second-hand trust. The more steps your site is away from a trusted site, 
the lowers the effect on your site. Let's quickly introduce another quality of links, which plays a role in SEO. It's about an attribute you can assign to a link which is set either to follow or to no follow. Let's take this website. It's linked by another site passing the attribute follow together with the link. Follow means that the link is counted as a valid backlink. We might say the backlink score is 1. With another follow link, the score will increase to 2. But a backlink containing the attribute no follow is not counted. The attribute no follow has been introduced basically to avoid link spam. Anybody who hosts a site can decide if links created in forums or comments shall be regarded as countable links or not. The importance of trust measurement increased significantly with time, especially with the growth of social media. The more likes and comments your site receives from pages like Facebook, Google+, or Twitter, the more users speak about you, the more your page's trust factor increases. But again, it's important who talks about you. A famous blogger or a highly reputable author on Google Plus will provide you more credits than others. Power or rank and trust are often shown in a matrix. Each axis from 0 to 10. Let's see some examples. LinkedIn is a highly reputable business site with a trust rate of 10 and a power rate of 8. The website of Harvard University has a trust rate of 7 and a power rate of 6. On the contrary, you will find for example local industry websites or local radio stations in a lower region of both trust and power. Let's sum up. There are two main metrics for CEO off-page criteria. The one is called the power or rank of a site. There's no standard measurement for this criterion. However, there are leading brands which have set up kind of standards, as there is page rank by Google, LRT power by link research tools, and MOS rank by SEO MOS. On the other hand, there are means of measurements for the reputation or trust of a website. Those are LRT trust by link research tools, and MOS trust by CEOMOS. All of those are measured in a range from 0 to 10. By multiplying the value of power with the value of trust, you receive another means of measurement, namely power times trust by link research tools. And there's a further one called domain authority by MOS or page authority if related to a single page of the website. Both of these measurements have a scale from 0 to 100. Your target will be to get linked by other pages in order to achieve the highest possible value. 